What's up guys, welcome back to another Black Ops 4 Zombies Laboratory uh, Napoleon Plasma opening video. And today we're going to be opening up these Titanium Trebles. So this is a special offer here in the laboratory. I pretty much never open up any of these regular ones unless it's a special offer because we... It's not very common to have a special offer, but when they do have them, they're really worth it. So it's basically super worth it to save all of your Napoleon Plasma until one of these things rolls around in, uh, in the laboratory in the shop. So... It's uh, it's only 40. It's not the best one. I did a video a couple weeks ago talking about the very, very best special offer you could ever get in the laboratory here uh, in Black Ops 4 Zombies. But uh, that one, I believe it was like 100 or whatever. And uh, dude, it just gave you so much stuff. But this one, the Titanium Treble, is one guaranteed rare elixir or better plus two random elixirs. So this one's a triple guaranteed rare. So it'll give us two commons... Two rares, two legendaries, two epics, any com like combination of any of those, plus three guaranteed rare or better elixirs. So what better way to show you guys, or for you guys to find out, than to show you guys right here. So this is what's going to happen, right? It's going to be three rare or better ones. So we got two commons and we got two epics. Sorry, not two epics, three epics. Three near-death experience. See? Like, that's so sick. So it's rare or better, guaranteed. Three rare or better. And it's only, what, 40? So this is barely any better than the the very bottom one, right? Because this one, what does it cost? 30? So it's only 10 more Napoleon Plasma, more than this, right? So it's only technically 33%. It only costs you 33% more. But this one gives you two more elixirs. And three of them are guaranteed rare or better. This has no guarantees. This has three random elixirs. They could all be three common. But the downside of this one is you have no chance of getting a talisman. Whereas even something like the carbon combo, you have a chance of getting a talisman. So I would like to get talismans. But uh, with a deal like this, honestly, it's really good to stock up on elixirs. Because DLC 4 is coming up. Most likely at the end of September is kind of what uh, everybody's been talking about. It's been leaked and stuff. So something like that. Alchemical Antithesis. Three free fires. Nice. Not too bad. Good stuff there. All right, what's next? Ooh, three rares. Power keg. Immolation liquidations. Hey, I actually really do like immolation liquidations, and I've been running out of those recently, so. Here we go. Ooh, three epics. What is it going to be? Three perkaholics. Bro, let's go. <laughs> so, if you guys watched my classified round 150 Easter egg attempt, You'll know that I didn't get it anywhere close. I got to like 30-something, and we died. It sucked. <laughs> but we are going to be uh, attempting that again sometime whenever there's a double XP weekend, or I don't know, maybe we will do it without. I don't know. I have no idea. But um, we used up like every one of our perkaholics, right? So I have a specific class set up here. It's the Raptor one, which, uh, I mean, since I just barely got three perkaholics, I was at zero. And then we have 33... Alchemical Antithesis, is, and we got 24 cash backs, and then we also have Arsenal Accelerator on there for, I don't know why, but uh, I couldn't really find a fourth elixir that was going to really help us here, but Perkaholics, we literally ran out of those, so we literally have no more of those until just now when we got three more, so this is definitely going to be really helpful, and who knows, I might go for uh, the round 150 again here real soon. Okay, that was only a rare, so that's not too good, two commas and a rare. In plain sight, sword flay. Killjoy. Hey, killjoys are good. That'll help us get our headshots for the welling. Try and get that dark matter. That'd be really nice. Legendaries. Wall to wall clearance. Okay. Not, not too bad. Not too shabby. What's going to be next? Anything good? Legendary. Dividend yield. Hey. That's a pretty good one, to be honest with you. I like that. Alright, come on. What's next? Rare. Shields up. Shields up is also another good one. It'll just grant you a shield. It's really, really nice. Hey, blood debt. Three more shields up. Hey, pretty good stuff, dude. Man, we're almost out of all this. We only got like three more openings after this one. Undead man walking. This will be like the shortest opening video I've ever done. Oh my goodness. But we're getting lots of good stuff. Three more emulation liquidations. Nice. That's three more fire sales. That's really good. Really happy about that. Come on. Killjoy. Hey, perfect. More of those. I think I'm now up to about 14, I want to say. 14 Killjoys. 
And this is the very last one. Free Fire was the one we got. And Cash Back. Cool. So that was the Titanium Trouble. Nice. You can't even buy that. But basically, if I wanted to buy this, it's basically... It's, it's over $2, right? I would have to spend at least $5 in order to get this. Like, that's nuts. That's basically like almost two and a half bucks for how much this cost. But I'm not spending any of my real money on freaking, you know, Napoleon Plasma here. Because for 300 right? How much did I have? I almost had like 600 That's $20. So I almost had $40 worth of Napoleon Plasma just by playing the game. This is the biggest ripoff I think I've ever seen. In Black Ops 3 Zombies, they had sales on the on the, uh, the Liquid Divinium all the time. You could get like 100 Liquid Divinium for something like 20, 25 bucks, something like that. It was an insane deal. And it was fantastic. In this game, it's like, oh no, you can only get 300 for $200. Or, sorry, $20. Not 200 but 300 Napoleon Plasma for 20 bucks. Cool. That means I can open up four of these. Four. Four Palladium Packages. That's fantastic. For 20 bucks. This is, so this one is $5. Five actual dollars. Five dollars for one of these. That's the price they're charging for it. This should be like a buck. This should be like 30 cents, 45 cents, 75 cents. But instead it's five bucks. I don't know why Treyarch and Activision are just wanting to screw everybody with this in this game. But I'm not going to let them because I'm just going to go ahead... I'm just going to do all my uh, my daily contracts and stuff. And just load up on all the Napoleon Plasma. See, today's contracts, 30, 30, 30, 45, bam. So right there, that's what? 135? Yeah, 135 Napoleon Plasma right there if I just complete these four challenges. So you can only have two on technically at a time. So it would take me two games to do. But like 200 kills using a pistol, three catalyst enemy kills, 200 kills using traps, 200 kills using wonder weapons... That's not too bad. I could probably get this all in all done. Maybe hour and a half, right? Hour and a half, okay. And that would give me what? 135 is what I said? 135. That's basically half of this. So that's like $10. So basically, I mean, and if it takes an hour and a half of work to get half of this, to get like $10. So you, if you actually wanted to pay for this stuff, you're basically paying... Like, the rate at which you earn it is, like, almost, like, $10 an hour. You'd have to be making, like, well, like, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's nuts, dude. It's crazy. It'd be, like, a $15 an hour investment. And I'm like, you know what? I can easily spare an hour and a half a day to grind out rather than spend $15, like, a day to, get, to buy this garbage. Like, I'd rather just spend an hour maybe an hour and a half like you could probably bust through a lot of these really quickly if you really tried but uh yeah that was the laboratory that was the opening so we got some pretty good stuff let me just show you guys lastly what we're looking at here so got a lot of these in the 20s for some reason we have like no dead of nuclear winters i don't think i've ever used one but we only have nine for some reason whereas we're pretty much in the 20s for everything else except for who's keeping score in here we got 40 blood debts 46 talking about regenerations, only 11 extra credits. But to be fair, that is because I've used some of those and I've also used extra credits. I have not used talking about regenerations or blood debt or shields up. Actually, I think I have used shields up like once or twice. And that was on some of the gauntlets. But legendaries, looking pretty good in here. We got 44, 44, 36, 31, and 25. Like we're getting some good stuff. Epics, not so much. We have the very most we have in here is 17 conflagration liquidations. Then we got... 16 refreshments and 16 wall powers and then we're running low on phoenix ups shopping freeze head dramas perkaholics join the parties and near-death experience and even suit ups but yeah dude so you can definitely tell where i get a lot of my openings from is i i definitely do not get like almost any epics i think i get a lot of legendaries like all in all i think i get a lot more of those Yeah, I mean, I have a ton of those. I Do I have more? I'm fairly certain that I have more rares than I do commons. I'm fairly certain. I'm fairly certain I also have more legendaries than I do commons. That's a weird distribution. I get a lot of rares 
and legendaries, but not so many commons and not so many epics. So really weird there, guys. But um, that is going to do it for our video today, guys. Hope you guys actually really did enjoy this. Uh, if you did and this offer is still available, make sure you guys absolutely go and hit this up in the store. If you guys enjoyed the video, give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And make sure that you have the notifications on selected and you check it because I've heard from a lot of my subscribers that they're not actually receiving notifications from me. So make sure you guys uh, like give that a check. Even if it does say that you're getting every notification, maybe undo the bell and then do it again. Uh, just to kind of refresh it. Maybe that'll work. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I've been hearing that from a lot of my subscribers that are not receiving notifications even though they want to. So make sure you guys double check that. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.